Hello everyone, my name is Luis Rivera and I'm here to talk to you about what I think about lighting kits and what they do and how do they do the job and what do you guys think as far as personal lighting. Do you guys have a comparison? Do you guys have something better out there? Please let me know and we'll go on as we uh, assemble the lighting kit. Personally, they run great uh, as far as I've been using them for a while now. Uh, they come with the green backdrop. I've opened these many times and they work very well. Uh, they're pretty lengthy. Uh, you got your black one that uh, it's pretty good you know, for photography when you're trying to get that dark effect, that dark look. Um, and then you have your white one as well. Um, personally, myself, I have a customized backdrop that I bought for Amazon for like $20, $30. Uh, they work really great. It's also very creative. It's not something that everybody uses but it's just my personal preference. Um, we have our black and silver umbrella. It's like, oh, uh, you can see uh, it's pretty, pretty bright once you start using these. Um, same, but it's already wrapped up. And then we have our lighting kits where they're wired. Uh, we have the uh, assembly to make them loose and you can put them in any position that you like. Uh, sorry about that. It has that little noise but again it's it's alright to do the job that you need it to do anyways. Um, we have these light bulbs that here. they're very very bright and please do not touch them because you know your grease can also make them defective and uh, other good stuff like that, but we have that. So, and hopefully, like I said, we can start getting this build and uh, see what we're working with right now. So here we have some of the unboxing stuff for uh, for the lighting kit. Um, usually, you don't need a lot. If you have a lamp or you have just a regular. Um, you know, anything type of lighting that you can use. Uh, LEDs, you know, they're great. They work, you know, just, uh, I personally got this myself. Um, I got it on Amazon itself for like 120 bucks. Um, guys, something that you guys need to know is that you don't need a lot to go with just to get yourself started. You can just use, personally, I did this because I'm in the photography field and that's what I'm trying to pursue. And I'm seeing where I can, uh, you know, accomplish, you know, with, uh, with a career out of this so I'm buying these you know first you start out cheap and that's the best way to go use what you have so so here we have the components right here for the backdrop in order to uh, you know get that uh, background in and you know start your uh, making your comments and uh, you know what you want to review and if I can just freaking get this open huh? make sure everything's loose so you can work this thing all right, now, there we go. Then you tighten this baby up on one side. You do the same thing as for the other. Tighten that as well. And then you have your stands. Right here is that you can uh, adjust the height that you want it. Um, I have it right now, so you can extend it. Um, up, yay! Then you could adjust this one as well to get it even higher to you know the length that you want it in order to do your reviewing, your commenting, you know your. Q and A's, shoot a video if you want, a photo shoot, whatever it is, maybe you know you adjust it to your personal level. Um, I got this one already in, so I'm gonna get a little bit higher to do this, and this should be it. I'm gonna set the second piece in. Uh, loosen up my. Uh, My bolts. 
adjust it to the height that I want. And do the same as well for this. Get it to that. to the best. Oh, get that a second. Oh, wrong way. Just that. Get this in here as well. It's about the same. Adjusted personal one because again my purpose that I'm trying to shoot for is for photography so um, I thought that this is pretty cool uh, pretty neat looking uh, you can get them for 20 bucks at Amazon or eBay or any of those uh, just backdrops uh, colorful backdrops at that uh, they have very uh, uh, the big variety of them so you have the backdrop right here uh, which is really great. Um, sometimes they come like really wrinkly, so you might want to just try to like, get like a, a a steamer, like a clothes steamer, just you know gently and, and have a good distance, you know, to iron out those wrinkles they have on the backdrop itself. Um, also, now we're going to the lighting kit. So here we have the Snow White umbrella reflector, which gives it like that soft white feel to the, the scene and uh, it's pretty nifty. Makes me want to use like one of these umbrellas to freaking in case I get wet in the rain. Anyways, so put this bad boy here. I know you can't see me right now but I'm adjusting what's uh, put in the pressure so I can have the, uh, the look. And now you can adjust it, you know, how hard or how soft you want the, uh, the reflection to look. Um, that's pretty much as far as wide as the umbrella reflectors go. Well, you notice it's gotten a little bit brighter in here. It's because I have the one reflector on, the white one, the snow white. It gives it that smooth look. Um, I have other three others that I need to uh, install in order to complete this lighting kit. And get that scene that I want in order to do my reviews, my comments, and advertise whatever it is that I need to advertise. Okay, so I have here the uh, black and silver box reflector. Um, this is very, very strong uh, to my personal opinion. Um, I, there's like, inside there's like a little, um, it's like four little stands. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, you would have to push down this little circular device in the middle and just to get that little, you know, all four of them to be a straight to give you this box reflection here. You have side pieces here where you can uh, uh, adjust as like an adapter where you put the white lighting over it to give you that, you know, that smooth look or you can just have it like this in order to give you, you know, that strong reflection if in case it's a dark area or you only have one even. So you can use this to uh, for some powerful lighting. So now as you see, you know, I have the white snow white reflection on, um, I have the box reflector on, and it's a little too strong to my taste. It's just, uh, it's too bright, um, it's a little, you know, uh, uncomfortable to see the camera as I'm trying to do this, uh, you know, uh, review, so uh, maybe I want to start putting those soft white um, reflection on it and maybe it can actually dim it down and get that perfect lighting that I want. So now that you got the reflect, you know, the light, why did I say reflectors? Now that you got the lighting the way how you want it, you can just, you know, uh, set it at that, leave it at that, you know, always remind yourself how, you know, the positions that you want it. You know, certain positions gives a certain look, uh, some sides, you know, give a dramatic effect, some give, you know, just a, a full on view that you can even see your pores even, it's ridiculous. But um, I have here just a car windshield uh, 
reflector where you can just even use that. Uh, you can use it for outside lighting, inside, you know, uh, this one just kind of does it all. See? Got the hard reflection, you got the black. Uh, inside, you got the white, uh, the, and you also have the gold. So in case, it all depends what you want to do and how you want to do it. So uh, personally, these are good things to have. Very cheap, um, just not a lot to go with. Uh, this is like $10, $20 when I bought it. Um, again, this is a really big useful tool to use uh, for any occasions. So personally, my overall opinion uh, for the, the lighting kit itself, it's great, it works, uh, does the job that it needs to do. Uh, some people were complaining because they used it once and it's broken, and so some people use it twice and it doesn't work, or the lighting. Um, it just really, like I said, I, it depends on what you want to do. Some people would take it too far or go too extreme about that. But like I said, I've been taking it soft, easy on these uh, the kits itself, and they've been working great. Uh, I've been shooting with the Nikon D300, uh, 300S, I'm sorry, uh, the 35 uh, prime lens aperture 1.8, and you can see it's pretty crystal clear. Uh, I don't have a microphone, that's why it kind of sounds kind of echoey, but uh, I mean, I apologize, pretty soon I'll be able to afford one. Uh, so far, like I said, this is so get you through. Uh, you don't need all these fancy equipment in order to do you know, what you want to do. Um, other than that, uh, like I said, thank you for watching. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you guys want to see more about this or do you want to see parts piece by piece, uh, I'll try to put that in the videos, you know, later on. Or maybe I can just, you know, describe uh, more things about other lighting kits or comparisons even. So please tell me what you think. Please uh, give me a like. And this is Luis Rivera. Thank you for watching.